Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily display the last check-in comment on a document library. Let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So here I have a document library. And by default, of course, the uh, you know SharePoint supports co-authoring, uh, which means that multiple users can collaborate uh, at the same time on a given do document. However, in my case, um, users check in and check out the documents. And in this case, uh, essentially what happens uh, is that, you know, when the document is, let's say, checked out, uh, only the user that checked out the document can edit the document. Everyone else will still have access to the last version of the document, but only on a read-only basis. Now, I explained the concept of check in check out previously. I actually have a, a number of blog posts on my blog, as well as a video on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check it out. But today, I want to show you one specific feature um, of the check in check out process. When users check out the document, and let's say I made some changes, and then I'm ready to check it back in, users can supply comments, all right? And this is optional, they don't need to, but uh, this is a nice way to let everyone know um, what kind of changes they made on a document, all right? Uh, so what I would like to do now is show you how to display those comments uh, on the library, all right? Now, by default, of course, by default, of course, uh, let me just refresh my page. By default, you can always go to version history. And you can kind of see all the revisions, all the versions uh, of this document. And you can see uh, over here, this are the check-in comments. When users check the document in, they supply those comments. So you can kind of see what kind of change occurred at that point of time. So Mary was the last one to uh, make the changes. And you know this is the comment she supplied. What we are going to do now, we are going to display that comment uh, in a library, in a view. Let me show you how to do that. It's actually uh, pretty simple. Uh, it's an existing column that already exists. We just need to display it. So you hover over Add Column, Show Hide Columns, and let's find it right here. Check and comment, all right, and uh, hit Apply. And look at this. Here is the column that shows us the last check and comment. And very important, it's not going to show you uh, a summary of check and comments. It only shows you the latest and greatest, all right. So if I now go ahead and modify this document check it back in and supply comment, it will kind of override what you see here. It's just the last check in comment. But in my opinion, this is a really nice way, uh, especially if you use, obviously, if you use check in, check out to display those comments and at least be aware of what kind of changes have occurred uh, within the last revision. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.